Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, the NBA has dropped the bomb just in its usual style, always in its typical manner and very unpredictable. They have come up with a new rule just 50 days before the exam. Now, what to do? A rule is a rule. We have to accept it and move on. So, in this video, first we'll go through the rule, what this new rule is all about. And in the end, I'll tell you a solution which you can instantly apply and adapt yourself to this new rule and get the best out of it. So keep watching the video till the end. If you're new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any such videos in future. First, the rule. And this is a notice which came on 4th of May. And the subject states, introduction of mandatory time-bound sections in MCQ-based examinations. They have stated that these will be included for NEET PG, NEET MDS, NEET SS, FMG and so on. Then the main point, that is number two. They have said the question paper in these examinations will be divided into multiple time-bound sections. For example, in NEET PG 2024, if there are five time-bound sections, that is A, B, C, D and E in the question paper, each section will have 40 questions and 42 minutes of time allotted. Candidates will be restricted from proceeding to the next section until they complete the allotted time for the previous section. Additionally, candidates will not be allowed to review the questions or modify the responses for a section after completion of its allotted time. The questions for the next section will start automatically after the completion of the allotted time for the previous section. And they have said such mandatory time-bound sections will be implemented in NEET PG 2024 and all the forthcoming computer-based tests conducted by the NB. Okay, so the thing which have been added is the time-bound sections. That means there will be five sections of 40 questions each. So total questions are 200 and 210 minutes that is 42 minutes for each section and most importantly they have said that you cannot go to the other section unless you complete this section and once you have gone to the other section you cannot come back to this section for example you're solving section a you have 42 minutes you're solving 40 questions once that 42 minutes is over you will be automatically moved on to section b and you cannot come back to section a and correct the answers or change the answers so that is one important thing to note so the idea or the goal is to finish every section at least five minutes earlier so that you have five minutes for reviewing the questions and go through it before you move on to another section. Now the question is how to tackle this, how to modify your preparation and how to get adapted to such changes. So the solution is custom modules. What I would suggest is start creating a custom module of 40 questions each and set a timer of 37 minutes that is five minutes earlier and try to solve the 40 questions in 37 minutes. You can select all subjects or you can select at least five subjects which you are practicing try solving at least three to four such modules in a day now the way marrow has already designed the qbank if you have done the, your qbank judiciously you don't have to worry because they have already designed the qbank in a manner that you have to solve a question in a particular time frame so if you are already practicing mcqs you're already accustomed to it so you don't have to worry but if you are not practicing MCQs, now is the time. You cannot delay it further. I have been telling it from day one that MCQ practice is the game changer, is the main thing. Even in the last recent video which I posted, I mentioned about the custom modules and the importance of solving MCQs. Because in this last 50 days, the way you get accustomed to solving MCQs will change everything. But you don't have to panic. You don't have to worry. You still have 45 days left and everything can change from now if you start solving it today. Second thing to talk about is suppose you did not do well in section A, you have to forget about it and concentrate on the coming section which is section B. If you don't do well again in section B, again you have to forget about it and concentrate on section C because you might have rough patches in your exam but that doesn't mean that your whole exam will go bad. You have to understand that these things are not in your hand but what you can always do is sit back and relax and try solving each question with more concentration. Third thing for the grand test, if you're setting for grand test, so what will happen is most of the apps or the education platform will come up with the change patterns of mock tests, at least two to three before the exam. And I request you to sit for those mock tests, whichever platform it is, because that will make you exam ready. That will give you a practice of these time-bound sections. But even if the education platforms doesn't come up with the new pattern of grand tests, what I would suggest is, you sit with a timer when you're giving a grand test in a conventional manner and you give a timer of 37 minutes each and you just keep monitoring in 37 minutes are you able to reach 40 questions or not or if you're not comfortable with this manner you can definitely try the custom module way. lastly i would just say change is the only constant what you can do best here is just to adapt you have two options you can either sit all your friends and keep discussing about this for a week and waste your time or you can start from today itself and adapt to the change adapt to the new rule and bring the best out of it and give your best because 
only thing you can control is your action and not what the exam pattern or what the new rule is i hope this helps get going stop thinking take action the results are not far take care all the best